Good morning. Uh, my name is Musa. You can also call me Jerry. So before joining the MSBA program, I was actually working as a system analyst in the UOB. And uh, I've been in Singapore for nearly 14 years. And I, I love playing tennis since high school. And also love uh, surf skating and photography. Yeah. Hi, I'm Stella. You can also call me Su Ching. So I graduated from MSBA class of 2020. Currently, I'm the head of data analytics at SGX. So before I pivot to the data team, I was also uh, having a similar role like you, where uh, I'm a system analyst for the derivatives clearing system. Then thereafter, I progress on as a solution architect. Then when SGX started the data team, I pivoted over, and that's where I start my uh, career in data. And after knowing a bit more about data science, I decided to pursue MSBA with uh, NUS. So that's how I started my uh, data journey and also uh, interest in this field. So um, the reason why I chose MSBA is because I wanted to pursue a career in the consultancy firms. So with the skills and knowledge I learned from MSBA, it makes me more analytical when approaching and solving any problems, which I think is a very important quality to become a, a good strategy consultant. So what about you, Stella? For me, MSBA equipped me with uh, data science knowledge and it also widened my perspective and uh, provided me with interesting experience from internship and uh, hackathon as well. So because I come from a technical background and with MSBA, it, it adds on to it and complement it with uh, data science knowledge. So now I'm able to give both guidance to both my engineers and also data scientists and be able to guide them and relate to their discussions as well. Then apart from this, I also noticed that post-graduation, I still receive uh, emails from BAC to share about uh, those career opportunities and uh, jobs that they are available for us to apply to. And then when I'm trying to hire, mm -hmm. I will also reach out to the, uh, our cohort, our group chat and ask, you know, anyone want is keen in this new role? So I feel that MSBA helped apart from the knowledge itself to build the network of uh, analytics folks that we can have in this field. So uh, through MSBA, I got experience uh, machine learning, data warehousing, uh, integer programming, and as well as the price discrimination through various courses. So I, apart from these courses, I find that my collaboration and communication skills are greatly improved. So I wonder what was it like for you, Stella? So for me, I also took similar courses. And with the knowledge gained from the courses, I took part in hackathons both locally and overseas. So I took part in an overseas hackathon called Chengdu 80 where five of us from uh, MSBA and one from the undergrad business analytics went over for a competition led by Prof Pang. Mm. So this is a fintech competition where we have to build a prototype in 80 hours from scratch. So we worked through late nights, uh, going through like rushing and then there's a countdown timer. We were like, oh, running out of time, running out of time. So we were like having minimal sleep, taking a lot of junk food to keep us awake. Uh, last but not least, we, we managed to put together a prototype that everything is pretty good and pitch that in a conference itself. So it's a worldwide conference, right? While we have Hackathon, there's a conference that's ongoing for all the industry experts to do their sharing. And we get to interact with them as well from various uh, industry, from finance, from technology. There's also government sectors there. There's also re regulatory entities there. So when we pitch to them, it's quite a big setup. So it was quite exciting for us to see everybody there. And then the panel is from uh, the industry itself. So we are very honored that we came in first in this competition. Mm. Yeah. So overall, I would say this is a great experience. Then after that, when we came back from it, I finished my courses. Then I went on to Suzhou for internship there with the NUS AI Center in China. So one of the memorable experience that I remember was I actually have to do a presentation for a deep learning project in Mandarin. This is the first time for me where you know, I speak Mandarin, but doing a technical subject in Mandarin is quite a different thing and different from how I imagine it to be also. So then I have to go through Chinese paper, the, the same research paper in Chinese and English, and then uh, there's additional amount of time required to prepare for it. But overall, it went well. Uh, thankfully, all my peers and the prof understand what I'm sharing. And the overall experience there is great because I get to experience a different work culture and a different uh, living environment as well, different from Singapore. Yes, that's interesting to hear. And I have to admit that the most memorable experience I have in MSBA is actually the network and the friends I've met here. I've met so many talented people from in MSBA who are coming from different backgrounds. And uh, I feel that I've learned a lot from them through the various projects in MSBA. Yeah. 
one of the valuable things that I have a get away from MSBA was the friendship that I made during the course because we, we chong through week 12, week 13 with all the projects deadline and the test deadline together. So I think that f helped us to forge a strong bonding. So even till today, like recently, we just meet up to have a uh, hot pot and then we were talking about career, about stakeholder management, about data science project, how best to model certain topics over Haiti Lao for like a good whole two hours. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.